105 left in stores, Connecticut, folks. And it's UConn by three. Stand by. got Iowa and West Virginia coming up and by all right we got about seven minutes before the tip in Iowa City the update from stores Connecticut goes like this it's Yukon 67 Syracuse 64 50 seconds left 29 on the shot clock and for connecticut 51 straight wins at home their last home loss was 1993 and that's during the tournament and it came against louisville they've won 29 straight in the second round they've been to the sweet 16 30 consecutive times all that hangs in the balance in the next 50 seconds stand by for west virginia and iowa We're about five minutes away from tip-off in Iowa City. UConn just hit an enormous three to stretch the lead to six. Syracuse has a foul to give, and UConn has one timeout left. Let me go ahead and welcome you all to the Noisy Dragon studio. Welcome. And welcome and uh, welcome. We got, oh man, we got a whole bunch of people that are tuned in right now. Uh, wrong screen. 70 to 64 in favor of UConn over Syracuse in a good old fashioned Big East battle. And as soon as that game concludes, we'll have. Iowa and West Virginia, and I believe Syracuse just turned the ball. No, they did not. 14.5 left, and it's a six-point lead. A couple people just uh, subscribed to the channel, and I appreciate it. Follow us on all of our social media, SNWMN Multimedia or Snowman Multimedia 52. Matter of fact, subscribe to them both. But everything is going to morph into the new YouTube channel 
uh, by the fall. And I'd love to get that monetized as soon as possible. All right, Syracuse has to play. A three is off the rim. No good. UConn grabs the rebound and a travel has been called. Man, three quick subscribers uh, to the YouTube channel. Thank you. You see this uh, live sub count uh, in the middle of the screen. And I hear my little kitten, Winnie. Hey, Winnie. Hey, Winnie Pooh. Um, I want to thank you all for tuning in. You can also support the stream via Cash App and PayPal. Uh, if you're doing it via Cash App, it's dollar sign tallman doctor K50. Or if you're doing it via PayPal, it's at snowman2172. Hello, Winnie. Uh, you got to get down because I'm getting ready to call a game here. UConn has the ball with 4.1 seconds left. Paige Beckers and the Huskies are going to survive and move into the Sweet 16 for the 31st consecutive time. Play by play with JJ is the first one in. Welcome, JJ. Thank you uh, for joining the chat tonight. And UConn will pull the trigger and bring the ball in. Again, next on the docket, it's eighth seed. West Virginia against one seed Iowa and UConn just spent a timeout with 4.1 seconds left. And we just picked up four quick subscribers. Thank you to whomever subscribe. If you, uh, if you just subscribe, let me borrow a page from JJ, shout yourself out, identify yourself in the chat and we'll give you a big time shout out. Uh, big time shout out here. I got to remember to uh, speak clearly. Uh, Paige Beckers has 32 points, 32 points on the night. Be on my way to pick up my parents, maybe a little late for the final uh, late night Sixer, uh, Sixers game. What is that start time, JJ? Because I may tune you in while I'm taking my daughter to work. Let me make a little, let me make a little adjustment here. And to everyone that is in the chat so far and in the stream, I want to thank y'all for coming in. Let me turn my other light on. We're getting everything ready. Oh, it's over here for West Virginia and Iowa. There's, there's the, uh, uh, main light 47 in uh, it's a 10 p.m. start 47 in uh, I haven't seen the likes numbers yet and it's Jessica Schroyer who recently became a subscriber and I want to thank you for becoming a, uh, a subscriber there are 2.7 seconds left at Gample Pavilion in stores Connecticut and Utah Yukon I beg your pardon is going to be shooting too as we're getting ready for West Virginia and Iowa. The first one is good, and this game's history. Man, Syracuse came back, and they got it to within two at 65 to 63. And now a 7-1 to one run by UConn will close this out. The half-court shot is off the top of the glass. No good. And it is the Yukon Huskies who moved to 31 and five on the year. The teams are shaking hands. They win 72 to 64. Paige Beckers and company remain alive as they head to the Sweet 16. They'll take on seventh seeded Duke. And that will be on Saturday. USC and Kansas remain in the port and the, uh, 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 Portland region, part three. And we'll have coverage of all of those games, the regional finals and everything. If you want to sponsor the, if you want to um, sponsor the channel, would love to have you. You can get your business services and products out there. Drop me an email at either snowmanmultimedia at gmail.com or you can drop an email to info at snowmanmultimedia.com or you can text me at uh, 317-762-8567. This is the last game ever 
in Carver Hawkeye Arena for the super senior Caitlin Clark, the all time NCAA leading scorer. As if Iowa wins, they will head to Portland and they'll play Saturday against number five Colorado as Kansas State, one of the big time opponents for UConn, has been eliminated. As Caitlin Clark is introduced, Iowa will be dressed in the home white uniforms. West Virginia will go navy blue tops and bottoms, and I think I better not use my glasses here. West Virginia defeated Princeton 67 to 57. And status for Molly Davis, um, still out as far as we know. We'll get to the starting lineups in just a second. As West Virginia goes blue top and bottom. Jordan Harrison, J.J. Quinterly, Lauren Fields, Kaya Watson, and Kylie Blackston. On the floor for the Mountaineers. Caitlin Clark was a little frustrated on Saturday before the Hawkeyes got it going in the second quarter against Holy Cross. They outscored them 25 to 9 in that second period and they blew it open and pulled away and won by a final of 91 to 65. And there's 15,500 plus. Here it uh, or at Carver Hawkeye Arena, some wearing gold, some wearing black. Um, West Virginia defeated Princeton on Saturday as Iowa took care of Holy Cross. And I got a little visitor here with me. Hello, Winnie. There is not a seat to be had in the house. Every game for the Hawkeyes this year has been sold out. And we got a big, we're expecting a big crowd here. And I hope you all can help the channel with some donations here tonight. Here we go. Iowa in the home white. They have control. And it's Marshall that will bring the ball across the timeline into the front court. Iowa working right to left as we see it. And as you folks are listening along at home with us. A falter who's in for Molly Davis gets it to Clark. Clark dancing on the dribble. Three-point stripe and a foul called immediately as Clark tried to make her way into the lane. Quinterly with the foul. That's her first and the first team foul. So Iowa will pull the trigger, foul on extended right, bounce pass in play to Martin. Martin gives it to Caitlin Clark between the circles. Caitlin Clark on the move to the right, standing dribble, now works her way into the lane, goes all the way to the hoop, shoots the shot up no good. It's blocked by Quinterly and cleared by West Virginia. And here they come on the push. Quinterly into the front court, feeds it to the left side. Now in the left corner, a three-try on the way is in, and that is for Kaya Watson. Watson hits the first three. And it's West Virginia leading 3 0, and they turn the pressure. They nearly had a turnover as Stokey lost the ball. West Virginia has it. Quinterly with the steal to Watson on the left wing. Back to Quinterly. Out front, it comes to Diggs. Underneath is Watson. She's got all five, and it's 5 0 West Virginia. And this big crowd is stunned so far. West Virginia working the ball from left to right. Over the top pass into the front court for Martin between the circles. Martin on the move to the left with a left-handed dribble, looking for Clark. They get her on the back door. Clark has it low left. A pitch out pass to Marshall. Marshall fakes in the right corner, dumps it low to Stolke. Double team. Stolke comes back outside to Clark. Ten on the clock. Clark's three off the back rim. No good. Rebound chased out of bounds. It'll belong to West Virginia. With the ball up five nothing so far here in the first period. Lisa Bluter in her twenty fourth year as the Iowa head coach. Five Big Ten titles, including three in a row. Three-time Big Ten Coach of the Year and 17 NCAA tournament appearances, with this being the 17th. Harrison has it in the front court to Watson. Back to Harrison. Harrison has it off to the right. Up top, Watson. Right side, Harrison. Harrison plays it in the right corner. They dump it low to Watson. Watson backs in on Stalky. Now comes back outside to Harrison. Harrison lost the dribble. Gives it to Quinterly. Back to Harrison. Harrison has it. Fields a three. That's an air ball, and that's going to fall harmlessly out of bounds. And before the ball, before the shot was taken, we had a shot clock violation. Mark Cle uh, Kellogg, in his first season as the coach of West Virginia, he spent eight seasons at Stephen F. Austin, a two-time coach of the year in the WAC and the Southland Conference, and 
He is playing in his four. He is in his fourth NCAA tournament. Here comes Martin across into the front court. Martin lost the ball, stolen by Watson. Back comes West Virginia. Iowa down five nothing. Harrison has it. Pitch out left corner. Pitch out left corner to Fields. Back to Watson. Watson gives it back. Watson uh, gives it back to Blackston. Blackston. Uh, Watson a three. No good. Rebound snatched down by Martin. And this is what Iowa is lacking, and that is size. West Virginia has some long arms. A falter has it this time on the drive left baseline all the way to the hoop off the glass and in, and I was on the board. Five to two on a score, 728 remaining in the first. Sydney a falter had nine on Saturday against Holy Cross. At the top of the circle is Blackson. Pit, pitch out left corner. Fields at three. That's too long. A falter the rebound. Back comes Iowa right to left. A falter on the fly into the front court, working her way left. Turns on the dribble, hands it to Clark. Here's Clark dancing on the dribble, three point strike left wing. Had the ball poked away, he's able to get it back. A deep three from the left, bingo, and we're tied at five. Well, that'll take care of that slump. Seven minutes for the first tie game at five. West Virginia 25 and seven, Iowa 30 and four. That's 177 three point field goals made for Caitlin Clark, and that leads Division One. Quinterly has it this time with a cross-court pass to Fields. Fields dancing on the dribble off to the left, finds Watson. Back to Quinterly on the right wing, 12 to shoot. Dump pass low to Fields. Now to Blackson, a three from the corner is good, and West Virginia regains the lead. Blackson hits her first shot of the night. West Virginia 8, Iowa 5. It comes in play to Clark, and Clark is fouled. That foul is charged to, charged to Harrison. First foul on Harrison and two fouls on West Virginia. Molly Davis looking on, still injured, still out with a knee injury. Won't know her status. Should the Hawkeyes get to the Sweet 16, we probably won't know her status until game time on Saturday. Clark on the fly into the front court. Clark bumped again and a foul called. Or is it tipped out of bounds? Nope, it's a foul. It's on Harrison. Two fouls on West Virginia, none on the Hawkeyes as of yet. And no foul call. That ball was just tipped out of bounds. A falter will bring it in. Baseline right. A lot pass in play to Kate Martin. Hands to Caitlin Clark. 20 on the shot clock. Clark has it deep on the right wing. Clark with a left-handed dribble. Works off the stalky screen. Here comes Clark. Dancing on the dribble. Three-point stripe. Here she comes to the free throw line. And she's called for an offensive foul. Caitlin Clark dipped her shoulder. Iowa a little bit nervous coming out as they trailed 5-0. And that is a good call as she ran into Lauren Fields to free herself up for a jump shot. West Virginia ball up three. 6.02 left in the first quarter. Harrison had the ball taken away. Ball on the floor. It comes back out to Quinterly. Quinterly to the left side for Fields. Fields dumps it into, dumps it back outside to Quinterly. Ball on the floor. Still free. Still free. And a loose ball foul against Iowa. That'll be their first foul of the night. And that foul will be charged to a falter. That'll be her first in the first team foul. And a falter got bumped into by Quinterly, and they charged the foul to a falter. Eight to five, our score, 540 left in the first. Here's Quinterly with a three. Good from the left wing, or from the right wing, I beg your pardon. And now West Virginia has the biggest lead at six. It's been a game of runs so far. West Virginia with five, Iowa with five, and now West Virginia with six. And now Hannah Stolke underneath gets the bucket, drew the foul. So Stolke gets to the free throw line with a chance at a three-point play. Great pass from Martin to Stolke, and Stolke finished with the right hand off glass, got it in, drew the foul, and the super sophomore heads to the free throw line. Stolke's free throw, got it, 11-8 to eight on our score. 529 remaining in the first quarter, and Fuhrerbach now comes on for the Iowa Hawkeyes to supply a little more defense. A falter will depart. A falter out of Maris in Chicago. Harrison trots it up. West Virginia, blue tops, blue bottoms, gold numbers and lettering. Harrison swings it to Quinterly. Quinterly on the drive in from the right. Pitch out back to Fields. A three from the left corner. 
Bank no good. Ball is grabbed by Caitlin Clark. Iowa has numbers. Clark on the fly right to left with a wraparound dribble, able to pick it up and gives it to Martin, who hands it to Marshall. Marshall directing traffic on the right wing. Marshall holds and looks, holds the ball over her head and gives it to Caitlin Clark deep on the right wing between the circles with 16 on the shot clock and five minutes left in the first. Here's three by Fuhrbach. Off the back rim, no good. Rebound snatched down by Stolke. Pitch out Marshall. Three for the tie. A brick. Rebound comes down to Quinterly. Back comes West Virginia on the run. Quinterly on the fly, left to right. Ball is loose, but Quinterly able to get it back and shoots it in. Quinterly with her first bucket. 13 to 8 our score. With 439 left in the first. We're coming up on a media timeout. Clark off the few uh, off the screen from off the screen from Stolke. Bangs home a three. Clark with six. Two for three from distance. And Iowa back within two, 13 to 11, and 424 remaining in the first quarter. We'll keep you updated with scores and stats from all over the tournament. Here's Quinley with a 15-footer. Rimming no. Rebound snatched down by Clark. A one-handed pickoff. Uh, we'll jump pass ahead to Stokey. She goes up, scores, and we're tied at 13. 13 apiece. Five in a row by the Hawkeyes. That's their second five-point run in the quarter. Four minutes left. Opening quarter. Harrison across into the front court for West Virginia. Harrison plays it to field. Back to Harrison. Between the circles, Harrison on the drive to the right. Works it right of the lane. Gets all the way in. Had the ball stripped. It's out of her, off her leg. Out of bounds. And it belongs to the Iowa Hawkeyes. And we have time on the floor. And we're going to need it. We all have to catch our breath. 349 remaining in the first quarter. Iowa 13, West Virginia 13. You are watching and listening to live coverage of the 2024 Women's College Basketball Tournament on the road to Cleveland. More after this. Attention sports fans, looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride? Look no further than Fanatics, the number one destination for sports enthusiasts. Visit snowmanmultimediasports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players. From jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles, Fanatics has it all. Don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience. Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Are you ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries, whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at InvaderCoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran-owned. One of the games is, that is complete is Connecticut. They move on to the Sweet 16 for the 31st consecutive year with a 72-64 win over their Big East rival, the Syracuse Orangemen. Brian Snow back here with you in the Snowman Broadcast Center. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel by hitting that like button and subscribe button. Tell your friends about tonight's stream. The last time we had Iowa for the Big Ten Championship against Nebraska, we had as many as 260 concurrent watchers at the same time. We're still breaking records with that. We're over 5,100 views. Let's see if we can bust that record tonight. And while you're at it, please help us with the channel as I am disabled right now because of my fight with cancer and a recently amputated toe. You can uh, support the channel via Cash App, dollar sign, tall man, Dr. K50. And uh, by PayPal at snowman2172. The link tree will be active, will be updated and activated the next time we are on the air with a play-by-play -play stream, which is set for Saturday as we'll cover the women's basketball tournament all the way through to the championship, all the way through to the, all the way through to the championship game on April seventh, and that game is set to start no matter who's playing in that game. We'll have that at 3 o'clock. The last Big Ten women's team to win the national championship was Purdue in 1999, and there's a lot of 
there's a lot of pressure on Iowa. Now, Indiana is playing right now. They're in a battle with Oklahoma. Every other Big Ten team, Maryland, Michigan State, they are all out. Iowa's the last one left. We'll get an update from Indiana in just a moment. That pass is tipped out of bounds, intended for Marshall. It'll stay with Iowa. 340 remaining in the first quarter. We're tied at 13. West Virginia left to right. Iowa right to left, as we see, and as you folks are watching and listening along at home with us. Here's Martin, deep on the right wing between the circles, guarded by Watson. A bounce pass to Caitlin Clark on the left wing. Caitlin Clark holds and looks with 13 on the shot clock. Dancing on the dribble, works off the screen from O'Grady, gives it back to O'Grady, who charges to the hoop. Had the ball stripped out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa with seven to shoot. Iowa 5 of 9 coming out. West Virginia 5 of 10. Clark to come in. A lot pass into O'Grady. Lean in on shot on Watson. No good. That ball is tipped. Picked out to uh, Quinterly. Quinterly with a drop pass to McKnight, and she goes up and travel. Jayla Hemingway on the floor for the first time. Let's do our Fanatics lineup recaps as Hemingway joins Quinterly on the floor we're up to 73 watching make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button sydney a falter back on for the iowa hawkeyes kate martin will get a breather and they're doing this all without molly davis who's out with a knee injury a long pass ahead to a falter dropped a bounce pass underneath to o'grady and that ball was kicked each team excuse me west virginia now has three team files iowa with two team files Caitlin Clark will pull the trigger baseline right with 25 on the shot clock. A lot pass in play to Marshall. That pass is tipped out of bounds. West Virginia has been getting their hands in the passing lanes early. Iowa took a two-point lead at the end of one on Saturday against Holy Cross, and it was the second quarter that blew the game open as they outscored, outscored Holy Cross 25-9. to North Carolina State moves into the Sweet 16 for the fifth time in their last six years with a 79-72 win at Reynolds Coliseum over the Tennessee Lady Volunteers. In play to Stokey on the right wing. Holds and looks out front to Kayla Clark, uh, Caitlin Clark. Clark dancing on the dribble against Hemingway. Here comes Clark with a left-hand dribble. A three from straight on. Bullseye! Caitlin Clark with nine on three. Three-point field goals. And Iowa has their first lead of the night, 16-13, to and 2.53 left in the opening quarter. They're on an 11-2 run in the last 2.49. Over the top pass to Quinterly at the free throw line. She's surrounded. Quinterly goes up, comes back outside to Hemingway. On the right side is Blackston. Back to Quinterly on the right wing. Quinterly holds and looks. Now starts to dribble with the right hand. Works the scissor dribble. Comes all the way in. Pitch pass to the corner for Hemingway. Comes back outside to Harrison. Harrison on the drive. Dumps the pass underneath to Watson. Her hook shot is no good. Stalky the rebound. That's her third. So he comes out on the dribble and brings it ahead to Marshall. Marshall holds and looks now, finds Caitlin Clark. Clark dancing on the dribble off to the right. Here comes Clark on the drive to the right baseline. A pitch pass underneath is stolen by Quinterly. Back comes West Virginia left to right. They run ahead to Hemingway. Hemingway drives in, shoots it up no good, drew the foul, and she'll shoot two. 13 foul against the Iowa Hawkeyes. And Clark was able to get free of Hemingway and bang home her third three of the quarter. She got out to a slow start in the Big Ten Championship, but then finished with 34 points. Hemingway to the free throw line. The first attempt on the way is good, 16-14. to 14. It's an 11-3 run so far by the Iowa Hawkeyes. The second attempt on the way is good after trailing 11-5. They lead by one, 16 to 15. Hawkeyes lead as a falter brings it up against light full court pressure. They come ahead into the front court. A falter picks up her dribble, looking for help, looking for help, finds Clark out near the timeline. Caitlin Clark with a right-handed dribble, drives on Quinley, stops, a three on the way, not that time. Rebound snatched down by Martin. Ball on the floor, still on the floor. Looking for a jump ball. It is a jump ball. The held possession will give the ball to West Virginia. Ben Klassen is in the house, says go West Virginia. Thank you, Ben, for coming in tonight. If you love what you hear, please consider making a donation to the channel, especially via Cash App, as this disabled broadcaster tries to get back in the booth and keep his family going as, as well. Notre Dame is through to the Sweet 16. We'll give you all the scores at halftime. Here's Hemingway on the drive, runs into Stokey, and Stokey took it away. Stolen back by Watson. Watson comes out to the right corner. Outside to Harrison. 
Harrison holds and looks. Harrison on the drive to the free throw line. Pitch back outside. Fields a three on the way. Short. Rebound snatched down by a falter. A falter brings it up. 120 left in the first. It's Iowa 16, West Virginia 15. Caitlin Clark has it. She leads all scores with nine points. Caitlin Clark in the front court. Spins on the dribble. Pitch out to the corner for McCabe. McCabe on the floor for the first time for Iowa. Taylor McCabe finds a falter. A falter on the drive left of the lane. Picks up a dribble. Lot pass Martin. 15-footer. Splash! 18-15, Iowa leads by three. We're inside the, of the Fanatics' final minute. Kate Martin had 15 points and 14 rebounds on Saturday against Holy Cross. 50 seconds for the first, 21 of the shot clock. Iowa on a 13-4 run. Out front, it comes to Quinterly. Harrison has it off to the right. Guarded by Caitlin Clark. Back out front, it comes to Watson. Watson finds Hemingway. Now to Quinterly. Quinterly on the, uh, excuse me, Harrison on the drive to the right corner. Surrounded. Uh, keeps their dribble. On the drive, right baseline. A bounce pass. Underneath, that shot's blocked by Stokey, cleared by Stokey. Hawkeyes the rebound, 25 seconds left in the first. The shot clock is off. Caitlin Clark trots it up against Harrison. Clark comes across into the front court. And they're going to keep it in Clark's hands as Harrison applies the pressure. 16, 15, count it down with this. 13, 12, now 11, 10 seconds left, first quarter. Caitlin Clark with a right-handed dribble. Eight, seven, over the top pass into Stokey. Pitch out to a falter. A falter on the drive into the lane. Lefty layup. Nope. Ball tipped and a foul called with 1.2 seconds left in the first. Phew. Many people wonder how I continue to do this. Blackston picks up the foul. That's her second. She has three points in the game on a three-point field goal. That was a great pass to a falter who sliced down the lane and was able to pick up the foul going to the basket. Sydney a falter from Marist High School in Chicago, a school I am very familiar with, and I miss Red Hawk Nation. A falter to the free throw line. The first attempt on the way, bingo. Four-point lead for the Hawkeyes, 19 to 15, 1.2 seconds left in the first. David is with the David is with us. The second attempt on the way is good. And it's a five-point Iowa lead, 20 to 15, 1.2 left in the first. Harrison from three-quarter court. It's on the way. It's an air ball, and that's the quarter. Phew. Hope you're keeping up with us. Your score at the end of one is Iowa 20, West Virginia 15. We'll take a couple of minutes, and we'll come back with the second quarter. This is the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament in the second round from Iowa City and the Snowman Broadcast Center. Back after this. <laughs> Hey everybody, Snowman here. Looking for the best way to experience live events? Well, SeatGeek has you covered. With just a few taps on your phone, you can find the best seats for concerts, sports, theater, and more. Don't miss out on unforgettable moments. Download the SeatGeek app today and get ready for an experience like no other. Each ticket is vetted for authenticity and ranked on a 1 to 10 scale. And right now, if you sign up and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get 20 bucks off of your first purchase. That's only through the power of SeatGeek, where fans can fan. Ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries. Whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at invadercoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran owned. Welcome back. Brian Snow here with you inside the Snowman Broadcast Center. Tonight's game originates from Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City. And the second quarter of tonight's game is brought to you by Fanatics. Log on to snowmanmultimedia.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with Fanatics, officially 
license everything. Once upon a time, the Hawkeyes trailed by as many as six, 11 to five. They trailed five, nothing to start the night. And I hear my little puppy whining here. Hold on a minute. You need to go out, Lucy? Uh, okay. Nope. My beauty is home. And I know she's had a very long day. So y'all are going to see my beautiful wife here in a minute. And I'm going to get a kiss from her. As Banks is heading out too, my one of my kittens here. Caitlin Clark finished with 27 points on Saturday. And if there's one thing West Virginia loves to do, they love to get into the passing lanes, especially Lauren Fields, who came up with five steals on Saturday. West Virginia, 21 points off of 21 forced turnovers. And David, you're right. Caitlin Clark needs to attack the basket. Luna Universe says West Virginia keeping it close. Luna, welcome to the stream tonight. We got 108 watching. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more great women's basketball play-by-play -play, and not just with college basketball. Going to do the WNBA as well. And if you feel so inclined, you can make a donation to dollar sign tallman.k50 via Cash App or at snowman2172 via PayPal. 20 to 15, Iowa has it from three-quarter court, and bringing it up is Kate Martin. Martin directing traffic out front as Caitlin Clark has it out front, a straight-on three, rimming no, ball tip, Martin the offensive rebound, and the Hawkeyes will try it again. A falter lifts a three. That's no good. Ball on the floor. It'll fall out of bounds harmlessly, and the ball will belong to the West Virginia Mountaineers. We're inside the second quarter. Iowa 20, West Virginia 15. 9.37 left in the second period. Here comes Harrison across into the front court. Harrison joins Fields. Blackson is out of the game with four fouls. Watson has a three-point strike. Cross-court cross pass. Left corner three. Rimming no. Ball tip. Caitlin Clark the rebound. Ball tipped. Out of bounds. Belongs to the Hawkeyes. Iowa 20. West Virginia 15. 9.20 left in the second quarter. Kansas and USC will play later, and possibly later on tonight, depending the time, we'll give you a wrap of the final second round day. And they're going, are they going to go to a review? No, they are not. So it's Iowa ball. Jeff Warline, thank you for subscribing. Here's Kate Martin as they bring the pressure. Martin across into the front court. Martin with a scissor dribble, three-point stripe to the left. Out front, it comes to Marshall. Marshall over the top pass into Stalky. Stalky fakes, goes up, missed it. Rebound, Martin had it volleyball out of hand, out of bounds. It belonged to the West Virginia Mountaineers. Just a minute. Oh, I just pulled the pole down here. I had to. Here's a three out of the corner. That's no good. Caitlin Clark snatches the rebound. We played a minute plus. No one scored here in the second quarter. Clark had the ball go off of the back of her heel, but she's able to regain the dribble off to the right. Over the top pass into Stalky. Stalky goes up. Blocking foul. Gotta ask my brother to give uh to get JJ an, aut an an autograph. I think we can all ask for that. Harrison now has two fouls. Blackson has two fouls. Lauren Fields back in for West Virginia. Harris as Jordan Harrison departs. Baseline right. Caitlin Clark looks to come in, and we get a stoppage of play re uh briefly. We'll get you your lineups here in just a moment. It's Marshall Clark, Stolke, a falter. And I think it's a it's a, a falter, Stolke, as Fields comes up with a steal. She had five of them on Saturday. They run ahead to Quinterly. Quinterly into the front court. Out front, it comes to Watson. Watson holds and looks. Picks up the dribble. Now has it this time to Fields. Quinterly has it back out near the timeline. 16 to shoot. Quinterly with a left-handed dribble on the walk to the left. Now switches hands back to the right. Wraparound dribble. Works your three-point strike. Drives in left of the lane. Dump pass underneath to Watson. Turnaround shot in the lane is a brick. Rebound Martin. 
Ahead it comes to Clark. They bring pressure. Now they run ahead to a falter. A falter. Fake. Shoot. Scores. And Iowa goes up by seven. 7.50 for the half. Hawkeyes 22 and West Virginia 15 as they nearly came up with a, they nearly came up with a steal, but Quindley gets it across into the front court. Standing dribble with a left hand. Now walks it between the circles. Guarded out front by Caitlin Clark. On the left side is Hemingway. Back to Quinterly. Quinterly with a wraparound dribble. Escapes right of the lane. Comes up shooting and hitting. Quinterly with her second bucket. 22 to 17. 725 left in the first half. As Martin brings it up. They're going to keep it out of Caitlin Clark's hands as much as they possibly can. Clark has it this time off to the right guard by Hemingway. Speeds past her with a wraparound dribble. Stops. Fade away jumper. Rimming no. Rebound snatched down by Watson. A chance for which Virginia to cut it to three or two of the long ones. 709 left in the first half. Watson to the three-point strike. Finds Hemingway. Hemingway picks up the dribble. Now finds Quinterly. Quinterly turns. Gets instructions. Now finds Hemingway. Three-point strike to the left. Hemingway on the drive to the left corner. It comes back out. It comes back outside to Watson. Now to Hemingway on the drive in on Stokey. Bumps out. Stokey. Fakes. 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 Over the top pass to Watson. A three is a brick. And the rebound taken down by West Virginia, and they get an offensive rebound and a basket as Tyson Moore gets her first bucket of the game, and suddenly the lead is down to three, 22 to 19, six and a half for the half. Tears on Moore with her first bucket, averaging four points on the season. Caitlin Clark has it in the left corner. Clark directing traffic, gets the screen from Stolke, now stops, bounce pass back to Stolke, and she lays it in. And we got time on the floor for an injury as it is, I think it's Quinterly that's trying to run off a limp. She might have just banged knees with someone. Winner of this game will head to Albany to play in the Regional 2. And it's weird that they only have two regional sites this year. 6.05 6.05 left in the first quarter. What do you guys think about that in women's basketball? With only two regionals in women's basketball, Albany, New York, and Portland, Oregon. What do you got? What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below. We're ready to get back to work. 24 for Iowa, 19 for West Virginia. Iowa has led by as many as seven. And the officials are going to come together for a quick conference. Other scores that are in, Connecticut beat Syracuse 72-64 to to advance to the Sweet 16 for the 30th straight time. And now an explanation being given to Lisa Bluter, Caitlin Clark, pleading her case. They're trying to get everything right here. Six oh five for the half, twenty four for Iowa, nineteen for West Virginia. Now I'm gonna have to make some repairs to my set here at halftime. West Virginia with the ball moving left to right in the navy blue tops and bottoms, gold numbers and lettering. As Quinterly trots it up, it's good to see her stay on the floor. Quinterly comes out for it to Watson. Watson holds and looks, gives it back to Quinterly on the right wing. Quinterly with a wraparound dribble, now works away into the lane. A pitch pass back outside to Fields. Fields guarded by Caitlin Clark with a wraparound dribble. Fields picks up her dribble. Now to the left side, Hemingway. She lifts a three, and that's no good. Rebound snatched down by Watson. They get another shot. Back to Hemingway with a lefty layup. Missed it. Rebound, Kate Martin. Oh, boy. You can't miss bunnies like that. 535 left in the half, 24 for Iowa, 19 for West Virginia. Martin in the front court, hounded by Fields, now gives it to Mar- uh, Marshall. Bounce pass underneath, intended for O'Grady. Ball on the floor. O'Grady had it chopped out of her hands. It's a jump ball, and it will stay with the Hawkeyes. How are they guarding Caitlin? They're sending a posse after her every time. She does have three three point field goals. She leads all scores with nine points. 524 left in the half. Iowa 9 of 19 from the field. And remember, Jordan Harrison is playing with two fouls. She's on the bench right now as Clark looks to come in, gives it to Stalky. Stalky gets bumped. Nothing called there. Now looks for help. 
They're hounding Clark, and there's close to a five-second violation, and Mark Kellogg can't get a five-second violation. Oh, boy, Iowa got away with one. A pitch pass to Marshall and a shot clock violation instead. Oh, boy, Hannah Stokey had the ball for five seconds and longer, and that is the seventh turnover against the Hawkeyes. Now can the Mountaineers take advantage? This is where the Hawkeyes really miss Molly Davis and Molly Davis's playmaking. Molly Davis was the playmaker for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Out front comes to, to Hemingway. Quinterly has it this time on the right wing, looking for help. That pass is stolen by Clark. Here comes Clark on the fly, drives in on Quinterly to the hoop and shoots it in. Caitlin Clark with 11, first player in double figures, and Iowa reestablishes the seven-point lead. 26 to 19, 440 left in the first half. Quinterly brings it up. Quinterly across into the front court. Works it straight on against Marshall. Works off the Watson screen. Quinterly on the drive. Bumps into Stokey. Falls down. Ball is free. Tipped high and out of bounds. It'll belong to the Hawkeyes. Iowa 26, West Virginia 19, and we have time on the floor. So let's take time out. 405 left 453 left in the first half. The Iowa Hawkeyes have reestablished their seven point lead 26 to 19. This is the 2024 Women's Basketball Tournament. We're back after this. Attention sports fans, looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride? Look no further than Fanatics, the number one destination for sports enthusiasts. Visit SnowmanMultimediaSports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players. From jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles, Fanatics has it all. Don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience. Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Sports bettors, listen up. Your favorite sportsbook, BetUS.com, is back and in our 30th year of action. With live in-game betting, incredible odds with daily odds boosters, props and parlays, fast payouts, and exceptional one-to-one customer service, we got it all. And when you sign up today and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get a 125% deposit match on your deposit. Log on to BETUS.com or call 800 800- 792-3887. That's 800-79-BETUS. BetUS.com, where the game begins. Okay, ready to get back to work. I got to clean up a doggy mess at halftime. Four minutes plus left in the first half. It's Iowa 26 and West Virginia 19. Luna Universe is in the house with us. My brother is in the in in the pride. He plays in the West Virginia band. He was in an elevator with JJ today, but he was intimidated. <laughs> he was intimidated. Why? Why was he intimidated? That's what I want to know. Why was he intimidated? We'll get you all the scores from the women's basketball tournament at halftime. UConn and North Carolina State are through to the Sweet 16, as is Notre Dame. And at the end of the night, after uh, the next chapter in the di- in the uh, diary, we will give you all of the scores. Notre Dame beat Ole Miss by a count of 71 to 56. Their third straight sweet 16. Caitlin Clark brings it up. 
It's Clark along with Fuhrbach, Martin, Marshall, and Stolke. Martin has it this time. Over the top pass into Stolke. Saves it. Gives it to Marshall. Now finds a fall, uh, Fuhrbach. Fuhrbach dancing on the dribble left corner. And that ball was kicked. It will stay with Iowa. They'll have 20 on the shot clock. And 4.04 left in the first half. Got 123 folks in here. Why don't you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and tell your friends about tonight's broadcast. They have it in play to Marshall. Fuhrbach off to the right. Fuhrbach on the drive. Had it tipped away by Harrison. Clark able to get it back. 14 on the shot clock. Clark works his way to the baseline. Hands it underneath to Martin. Missed the layup. Ball on the floor. And it comes down to Moore. Moore to Harrison. Remember, Harrison has two fouls for West Virginia. Harrison dancing on the dribble out front. Now finds Watson. On the right side is Hemingway. Over the top pass into Moore. She goes up. Had it blocked by Stolke. It's out of bounds. And it will stay with... West Virginia with 338 remaining in the first half of play. Kansas and USC will play later for a trip to Portland, Oregon in the regional. Stolke has three blocks on the night, three block shots. Against the five count, they have it in play to Watson. On the left side is Hemingway. Hemingway with a right-handed dribble with 13 to shoot. On the right side is Fields. Back to Hemingway. Swings it left side to Harrison. Harrison goes over the top into Moore. Bounce pass underneath to Hemingway. She walks to the lane and missed the layup. And the rebound to Fuhrbach. Flip pass ahead to Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark on the fly. Got fouled by Hemingway. So Hemingway picks up the foul. UConn beat Syracuse 72 to 64. Paige Becker's finished with 32 points. They have it in play to Caitlin Clark. Clark dancing on the dribble, works it three point stripe, fakes the shot, looking for help. Now drops it underneath, intended for Stolke, and is picked off by Watson. Nine turnovers against Iowa, and yet they hold a seven point lead. Iowa, the highest scoring team in the NCAA. Hemingway's three, good from the right corner. And the lead is down to four, just like that. 26 to 22 and 254 remaining in the first half. And unlike Saturday, West Virginia is hanging with Iowa here in the first half. Clark has it this time off to the right. Clark dancing on the dribble out front. A deep three. Nope. Long rebound. Chased down by Marshall. Got gathered in by field. Here comes West Virginia. On the floor is Hemingway. Slipped. No call. Harrison has it this time out front between the circles. Two and a half for the half. Harrison deep on the left wing between the circles, looking for help, directing traffic. Harrison ordering somebody to clear out more pitches corner to Hemingway. Hemingway on the drive, chasing the double team, feeds it to Fields. Fields on the drive right baseline to the hoop, lays it in. Two-point game. Five quick points by West Virginia. The pressure stays on, and the lead is two, 26 to 24, and two minutes left in the first half. Clark comes across into the front court, works off the stalky screen, a straight arm three, short. Rebound taken down by Fields, and West Virginia can tie it with a bucket or get the lead with a long one. Harrison has it this time deep on the left wing. Iowa has gone cold. They are 3 of 11 from three-point land. West Virginia is 4 out of 13. Moore swings it to Hemingway, a three from the left wing. is a brick. Rebound chased down by a falter. It's a falter, Clark, Fuhrbach, Stalky, and Marshall. Clark on the fly, drives all the way in, bumps off people, dump pass to Stolke. That pass is tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa with 127 left in the first half. 26-24, Hawkeyes lead by two. They've led by as many as seven on two occasions. Mark Kellogg and the Mountaineers are staying in this ballgame. A bounce pass comes in play to Marshall. Marshall finds Clark. Over the top pass intended for Stolke. It's out of bounds, and Iowa has turned the ball over for the 10th time. Now West Virginia once again can tie it up or get the lead with a long one. 121 left in the first half. Three assists, four turnovers for Caitlin Clark to go along with her 11 points. Not the kind of stat line you would expect from Caitlin Clark. Harrison has it deep on the left wing, on the right wing. Out front, it comes to Hemingway. Back to Harrison. Harrison on the drive right baseline, picks up the dribble out front to Hemingway. 
dumps a pass underneath to uh to Fields or to Watson. I beg your pardon, and she travels. So Iowa dodges another bullet with a chance to extend on a two-point lead with exactly one minute remaining in the half, and West Virginia not going away from what they want to do. They're going to turn the pressure on. Creighton and UCLA locked at 13. They're on there in the first quarter there. Utah and Gonzaga will play later. Martin with a wraparound dribble across into the front court. Off to the left. Finds Caitlin Clark. The ball has got to go through her hands. Caitlin Clark on the move to the right with a bounce pass to Marshall. Marshall able to gather it in. Over the top pass to a falter between the circles. Now to the left side for Caitlin Clark. 40 seconds for the half. 10 on the shot clock. Over the top pass to Martin. A three. Not that time. Rebound snatched down by... By Harrison, again, a chance to tie for West Virginia. 30 seconds for the half, 26 on the shot clock, 4.5 different shot clock to game clock. Harrison has it this time on the move to the right. Harrison leans over the dribble. They're going to play for one. Harrison works around a double team, pitch back out front to Watson, back to Harrison, deep on the left wing. 15 seconds left in the first half. They don't want to give Iowa another shot. Harrison turns on the dribble. Harrison had it poked away and a foul called on Marshall. And that is their foul to give. 9.3 9.3 left in the second quarter, but now you kill the shot clock. So let's see who goes into the half with the lead. Will it be Iowa or will it be West Virginia? Because the three will give them the lead. Caitlin Clark trying to figure out what's going on. And Iowa had only two good runs so far here in the first half. They are in a dog fight right now. They're led by as many as seven. It's two right now. They have it in play to Harrison. Tipped out of bounds by Marshall with 8.5 left in the first half. All right, I'll let my cat out here in a minute. Foul line extended right. They come and play to Hemingway. Back to Watson. Five seconds. Hemingway, a three. Nope. Two seconds. Watson goes up. Nope. And that's the half. Boy, Iowa dodged too many bullets. But West Virginia ain't going away. We're at halftime. Your score is Iowa 26, West Virginia 24. And for Iowa, the 26 points represent the fewest they scored in the first half this year. West Virginia has put them in a dogfight, and they ain't going away. We'll come back with our halftime activities presented by Fanatics after this. Sports bettors, listen up. Your favorite sportsbook, BetUS.com, is back and in our 30th year of action. With live in-game betting, incredible odds with daily odds boosters, props and parlays, fast payouts, and exceptional one-to-one customer service, we got it all. And when you sign up today and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get a 125% deposit match on your deposit. Log on to BETUS.com or call 800-792-3887. That's 800-79-BETUS. BETUS.com where the game begins. Attention sports fans, looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride? Look no further than Fanatics, the number one destination for sports enthusiasts. Visit SnowmanMultimediaSports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players. From jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles, Fanatics has it all. Don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience. Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. sports fans looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride look no further than fanatics the number one destination for sports enthusiasts visit snowmanmultimediasports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players 
From jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles, Fanatics has it all. Don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience. Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries. Whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at invadercoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran owned. sports fans looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride look no further than fanatics the number one destination for sports enthusiasts visit snowmanmultimediasports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players from jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles fanatics has it all don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Betters, listen up. Your favorite sports book, BetUS.com, is back and in our 30th year of action. With live in game betting, incredible odds with daily odds boosters, props, and parlays, fast payouts, and exceptional one to one customer service, we got it all. And when you sign up today and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get a 125% deposit match on your deposit. Log on to BETUS.com or call 800 792 3887. That's 800 79 BETUS. BETUS.com where the game begins. All right, it's halftime. It's Iowa 26, West Virginia 24. The 26 points by Iowa represent their lowest scoring first half total of the year a couple of nba scores as we're there at halftime in the windy city and the uh washington bullets aka the washington wizards lead the bulls 53 to 49 they're at halftime in texas and the suns lead the spurs by a count of 50 to 47 26 to 24 is our score here indiana is through to the sweet 16 in women's basketball as they are showing Notre Dame celebrating their trip through to the Sweet 16. So Regional 1 in Albany is set. It's South Carolina and Indiana and Notre Dame and Oregon State. So the top four seeds will play in the Regional 1 round in Albany. Let's take another break. Give you the stats, facts, and figures. After this timeout, it is Iowa 26 and West Virginia 24. Back after this. Sports bettors, listen up. Your favorite sportsbook, BetUS.com, is back and in our 30th year of action. 
With live in-game betting, incredible odds with daily odds boosters, props and parlays, fast payouts, and exceptional one-to-one customer service, we got it all. And when you sign up today and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get a 125% deposit match on your deposit. Log on to BETUS.com or call 800-792-3887. That's 800-79-BETUS. BETUS.com where the game begins. Attention sports fans, looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride? Look no further than Fanatics, the number one destination for sports enthusiasts. Visit SnowmanMultimediaSports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players. From jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles, Fanatics has it all. Don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience. Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Twenty six twenty four is our score. Here at halftime, and let's go over the halftime stats. The scoring leaders is uh, Kaya Watson and J.J. Quinterly, each with seven for West Virginia. Jayla Hemingway is next with five. Caitlin Clark leads all scores with 11 points, but she's also turned the ball over four times. Hannah Stolke has seven points and four rebounds. Sydney Falter has six. Kate Martin with two. Here's the difference in tonight's game. West Virginia has seven points off the bench. Iowa has none because O'Grady has been in and Feuerbach has been in. Those are the only two subs that have come in for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and they haven't gotten any points, nor have they gotten any points from Gabby Marshall, who was huge for them on Saturday. And that's why we are where we are. What do you think the Iowa Hawkeyes need to do in the second half to pull away and get to the Sweet 16 in Albany? Your score at halftime is Iowa 26 and West Virginia 24. We'll come back and give you all of the results that we have in so far and get you ready for the second half of tonight's game. Back after this. Hey everybody, Snowman here. Looking for the best way to experience live events? Well, SeatGeek has you covered. With just a few taps on your phone, you can find the best seats for concerts, sports, theater, and more. Don't miss out on unforgettable moments. Download the SeatGeek app today and get ready for an experience like no other. Each ticket is vetted for authenticity and ranked on a 1 to 10 scale. And right now, if you sign up and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get 20 bucks off of your first purchase. That's only through the power of SeatGeek, where fans can fan. Ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries. Whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at InvaderCoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran owned. Whew. 
Well, let's recap what has happened today. Notre Dame has beaten Ole Miss 71-56. to They're through to the Sweet 16. North Carolina State holds off a huge rally from Tennessee, and they defeat the, vol- the Lady Volunteers. That final 79-72. to UConn beat Syracuse 72 to 64 behind 32 points from Paige Beckers. It was uh, Indiana over Oklahoma. That final was 75 to 68. And currently in play in the second quarter, it is Creighton 28 and second seed at UCLA 19. You know about this score that we have in Iowa City and USC and Kansas one versus eight. Ours will be going at 10, and then a half hour after that, it will be Utah and Gonzaga. And that's the wrap-up in the women's tournament. The teams that are through to the Sweet 16 are Texas, and they uh, they await a winner. North Carolina State and Stanford will play. Those games, these games are on Friday. Number four, Indiana, and number one, South Carolina will duke it out. Number three, seeded Oregon State, and second seeded Notre Dame will lock horns. And North Carolina State, as I mentioned, will take on Stanford. The Saturday games look like this. It's Duke and UConn this Saturday. All the times will be, will be announced. I believe they will be announced uh, midweek. LSU and Baylor await opponents. Colorado will get the winner of this game. It'll either be eighth-seeded West Virginia or top-seeded Iowa. The winner goes to Albany to face the fifth-seeded Colorado Buffaloes, who took down the fourth-seed Kansas State yesterday. Man, there's a whole bunch of tournament talk that we're going to do tomorrow on uh, Snowman in the Morning, and can't wait for y'all to join me in the to join me in the morning 60 seconds and we're getting ready well actually we're going to stay here we're getting ready for the third quarter right now as the iowa hawkeyes lead by a count of 26 to 24 nba scores look like this the knicks lead the pistons 87 to 59 they're deep into the third quarter matter of fact 233 remains in that third quarter as i mentioned the suns lead the spurs they have just tipped off the third quarter in San Antonio, the Suns lead by three. The Wizards and the Bulls are at halftime, and the Wizards lead 50 to 47. JJ Quinterly, which is the subject of a, a, a chat talk, someone was afraid to get JJ Quinterly's autograph. I think that was that was the discussion in the chat. She leads West Virginia, or she's one of the top scoring leaders with seven points. So here we go. We're ready for the third quarter. It's Quinterly, Harrison, Fields, Watson, and Blackston. For Iowa, Clark, a falter, Stulke, Martin, and Marshall. They got to get Gabby Marshall alive. West Virginia forced nine turnovers, and they converted them to 10 points. Mark Kellogg said something. In the tournament, but even before this matchup happened, where he said, let's send Caitlin Clark home. Well, there's a second half to play, and the Hawkeyes hold a two-point lead. They've led by as many as seven, but Mark Kellogg, in his first year, looking to make even more history, he's the first coach to win their first tournament play uh, tournament game in his first year. West Virginia has the ball, blue tops, blue bottoms, gold numbers, and lettering. They'll work from right to left in the second half. It'll be Watson that will pull the trigger at the timeline, drops it in play to Harrison, and off we go in the third quarter. As Harrison walks it up, West Virginia looks for the tie. Harrison on the skip dribble to Watson. On the left side is Quinterly. Quinterly works off the Watson screen, bounce pass to Fields on the left wing. Out front, Quinterly. Quinterly has a three-point stripe back to Fields. Fields holds and looks. They're looking for Blackson underneath. They get it to her against Stolke. Pitch pass back outside to Quinterly. A three-try from the left. Rimming no. Rebound, Stolke. Again, the Hawkeyes dodge a bullet. Now they have a chance to extend on a two-point lead as a falter hustles it up. A falter with a pitch-out pass to Martin. They dump it underneath to... Stalky, she goes up, had it blocked, rebound taken down by Fields. 
Ahead it comes to Harrison. Again, a chance to tie for West Virginia. Harrison has it front court to the left. Out front it comes to Watson on the left side, Quinterly directing traffic. Quinterly with a bounce pass underneath to Watson. Watson drives in on Stalky. Fakes, fakes, fakes. Comes back out. Fields a three from the left. No good. Rebound comes down to a falter. Another bullet dodge by Iowa. Caitlin Clark hustles it up. Clark on the drive. On the left wing, Clark gets into the lane. A 10-foot hook shot. Good and a foul call. Caitlin Clark with 13 and a chance for 14. That foul is charged to Quinterly. I mean, Iowa has dodged four or five bullets from West Virginia. West Virginia had a chance to tie it up five times dating back to the first half. Caitlin Clark, 86% free throw shooter coming into tonight. She's got 13 points and a chance for 14. The free throw on the way is short. Stoke you the offensive rebound. A chance for Iowa to extend the lead. Marshall has it out front. Harrison goes down. Now Martin has it over the top pass into Stokey, and Stokey is fouled by Blackston, and that's three on Blackston. Kylie Blackston indeed picks up the foul. That's the second team foul. And that's the third foul on Kylie Blackston. Clark looks to come in baseline right. They have it underneath to Martin. It's tipped out of bounds by Watson. And Caitlin Clark will pull the trigger this time. Baseline left. Looking for help. Lost it in play to Martin. Three-point stripe. Back to Clark. Clark guarded by Quinterly. She's sitting on 13 points. Stokey backdoor to Clark. Clark on the drive left baseline. Pitch out to Marshall. Marshall on the drive into the lane. 15-footer. Rimming no. Ball volleyball back outside to Clark. Clark holds and looks, and they get a fresh 30. Or a fresh 20, I beg your pardon. Here comes Martin. Martin on the drive right, uh, left of the lane. Comes back outside to Clark, guarded by Quinterly. Quinterly has stayed with Caitlin Clark, uh, stuck to her like glue. Here comes Stokey in the lane. Pitch out, three by Martin. Nope. Rebound snatched down by Fields. Ahead to Harrison. West Virginia looking to run. Harrison right to left for the Mountaineers. Harrison on the drive. Dump pass to, uh, to Blackston. She lays it in. Blackston has her first bucket of the game, and the lead is back down to two, 28 to 26. Now Clark has it with numbers and is fouled. Or the ball's out of bounds. I beg your pardon. The ball's tipped out of bounds. Great job by J by Jordan Harrison. Blackson running the floor with her. Now they dump it underneath to Stulky, and Stulky saves it. Back outside to Martin. Martin holds and looks. Works off the Stulky screen. Pitch to the corner for Martin. Martin holds and looks. 15 to shoot. Now a three by Clark. Bang! Caitlin Clark with 16, and the lead is 5, 31-26. But I got to tell y'all, West Virginia is not going away. Jordan Harrison trots it up for the Mountaineers. 725 left in the third quarter. Harrison finds Quinterly out front. Back to Harrison between the circles. Back to Quinterly on the right wing. Guarded by a falter. Looking for help. Out front Harrison. Back to Quinterly as they play a two-person game. Here comes Quinterly into the lane. 13-footer. Rimming no. Ball tipped out of bounds. Belongs to the Hawkeyes. Clark came off the screen and was able to drill her fourth three-point goal of the night. 16 points for Caitlin Clark, and here she comes. Clark in the front court. Quinterly stays with her. Clark will the top pass to Stokey at the free throw line, holding and looking, looking for help. Turns and faces on Blackston. That ball chopped away. Stokey able to get it back, spins into the lane, comes back outside, a three by Marshall. Yo, it stayed out. Rebound a falter. She follows it in. Sydney a falter with a big bucket and a big offensive rebound for the Hawkeyes. They have matched their biggest lead at seven, 640 remaining in the third quarter, and timeout called by Mark Kellogg in West Virginia. And he is none too happy with this Hawkeye run. They've scored the first five points. Here in the third quarter, 638 remaining in the third period. It's Iowa 33, West Virginia 26. Let's come back after this. Hey, everybody, Snowman here. Looking for the best way to experience live events? Well, SeatGeek has you covered. With just a few taps on your phone, you can find the best seats for concerts, sports, theater, and more. Don't miss out on unforgettable moments. 
Download the SeatGeek app today and get ready for an experience like no other. Each ticket is vetted for authenticity and ranked on a 1 to 10 scale. And right now, if you sign up and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get 20 bucks off of your first purchase. That's only through the power of SeatGeek, where fans can fan. Ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries. Whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at InvaderCoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran owned. Welcome back to our alternative play-by-play coverage of NCAA women's basketball. Brian Snow here with you. It is the West Virginia Mountaineers trailing the Iowa Hawkeyes at Carver Hawkeye Arena by a count of 33 to 26. We got baseball coming for you in a couple of weeks, and I think it's going to be sooner than that because JJ has asked me to sit in for him. We got a hundred and nine people. We got a 237 people watching. I beg your pardon. I would appreciate it if all y'all would uh, find it in your heart to make a donation to the channel to keep uh, this content coming because I love I love doing it, and the biggest reason I do it is to do whatever I can to support my family. So whatever y'all can do to help out, I really, really, really appreciate it. The uh, tag you need for the cash app is below, dollar sign tallman, Dr. K50. All right. West Virginia has the ball. They will bring it in. Foul line extended right. They come in play to Jordan Harrison. Harrison, Watson, Fields. Blackson is off the floor right now. Fields has it this time in the right corner. That ball tipped, and it comes back out to Quinterly. Out front, Harrison. Harrison between the circles. Harrison with a scissor dribble. Backs out out front. Eight to shoot. Harrison finds Fields on the right side. In the right corner, Blackson. She comes up shooting. Missing. Long rebound to Caitlin Clark. She waits for traffic to clear and brings it up. Caitlin Clark on the fly with a wraparound dribble in the front court. Feeds it. Uh, three by a falter. No. I mean, nothing's falling, but, a, uh, excuse me, Stokey the rebound. Back out to Clark. A three from the left. Splash! And the Iowa Hawkeyes go up 10. Caitlin Clark has 19 points of their 36 and 15,000 plus coming to their feet at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Blackson has it this time right of the circle. Comes back out to Fields. Fields on the drive left baseline. Back out to Blackson, who has seven. Blackson's three. Nope. Long rebound on the floor. It volleyballs out front to Marshall. Marshall to Clark. Clark has it this time. Over the top pass into Stalky. Stalky's foul, charging to the hoop. Good recognition by Caitlin Clark, who saw Stalky running to the hoop. Richard Carr Sr. is in the house with us as Let's Go Hawkeyes. And thank you, Richard Carr, for joining us. As I mentioned, if y'all can help this disabled broadcaster and his family out, any contribution you can make via Cash App or PayPal would go a very long way to helping my family and helping the channel grow. Here's Martin on the right wing, 36-26. Iowa by 10. They give it to Stokey. Underneath goes up. Missed it. Foul called. Stokey shoots two. And that foul, I believe, is charged to Moore, and they have four team fouls. So it would behoove Iowa to get into the paint right now because one more foul, and I well, well, they've already reached the limit. 
Hannah Stolke, seven points, eight rebounds on the night. Stolke's free throw, got it. And Iowa has their biggest lead at 11, 37-27. You know what my goal is next year? To cover these games in person live. I may not be able to do play-by-play, -play, but I want to cover them a lot. I want to cover these women's games live. 38-26. Iowa leads by 12. They have shut out West Virginia so far. 10-0 run in the last 240. On the right side is Quinn Lee trying to split the double team. Lost the ball. Clark comes up with a steal. Back comes Iowa left to right. Here comes Kate McClark on the fly all the way into the front court. Pitch back out front to Martin. Martin on the fake. Drives in and travel. Man, oh, man. Martin had a free lane to the hoop, but traveled, but briefly shuffled her feet. Travel is called. So West Virginia has the ball down 12 and five minutes left in the third. Out front to Fields. Hemingway has it this time off to the left. Fee, um, excuse me. Watson has it this time. Harrison on the move. Pitches out. Quinterly, a three from the right wing. Splash! Boy, do they need that. Boy, do they need that bucket. West Virginia gets their first point to the third quarter. It's 38-29. Iowa leads by nine. Fierbach front court to the right. Fierbach picks up the dribble. Looking, looking, looking. Now finds Caitlin Clark on the right wing. Guarded by Quinterly. Here's Caitlin Clark on the move. Had a ball poked away to the right side. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark looking for a foul. Not going to get one. And that will take us to a timeout. Caitlin Clark with 19 points, but West Virginia ain't going away. Iowa 38, West Virginia 29. This is the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament, and you're hearing it live via the Snowman Broadcast Center. <laughs> Hey everybody, Snowman here. Looking for the best way to experience live events? Well, SeatGeek has you covered. With just a few taps on your phone, you can find the best seats for concerts, sports, theater, and more. Don't miss out on unforgettable moments. Download the SeatGeek app today and get ready for an experience like no other. Each ticket is vetted for authenticity and ranked on a 1 to 10 scale. And right now, if you sign up and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get 20 bucks off of your first purchase. That's only through the power of SeatGeek, where fans can fan. Ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries. Whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at invadercoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran owned. We got an upset brewing in women's basketball. They're at halftime at Pauley Pavilion and seventh seed Creighton leads two seed UCLA. That count is 42 to 34. That is at the half. So Creighton not fooling around either, just the same as West Virginia is. Iowa once upon a time led by 12 and then J.J. Quinterly splashed home a three to cut it down to nine. The score, 38-29 in a low-scoring slobber knocker of a ball game. Uh, thank you to Richard Carr Sr., our latest uh, commenter, Jeff D. in the house with us, Luna Universe as well. Thank you all for viewing the video, viewing the, uh, for, well, first of all, thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Looking at some of the, looking at some of the signs as some fans have come with signs saying Sweet 16 bound, not quite yet. 
Now they have it underneath and another steal. Quinterly on the push. Bounce pass to Hemingway. Goes up. Scores. Seven-point game. Every time Iowa pulls away, West Virginia finds a way to get back into the ball game, and it's been this pressure defense that has forced 11 Iowa turnovers. A falter on the move. A falter. Offensive foul. Make it 12 turnovers. This has been the entire game. Every time Iowa gets on a run, every time Iowa gets on a run and a good call as a falter shoved Harrison out of the way, 12 turnovers for Iowa, seven for West Virginia. Harrison has it off to the right place it to Quinterly in the right corner. Quinterly on the drive, pitch back out to Harrison. Harrison holds and looks under four to go in the third. Harrison attacks to the hole, lays it up no good. Ball on the floor, foul called. Harrison shoots two. Mm. Just when you think as Gabby Marshall picks up the foul, Gabby Marshall is scoreless in the ball game tonight. Jordan Harrison, also scoreless, going to the free throw line with 348 left in the third. Harrison's free throw, got it. 38-32, Hawkeyes by six. This is a 6-0 West Virginia run. The second attempt on the way is long, and the rebound to a falter. Ahead it comes to uh, uh, ahead it comes to Martin. That ball was kicked as Martin looked to get it to Stulkey. Iowa will keep it with 23 on the shot clock. And 340 left in the third. Every time Iowa pulls away, West Virginia fights back in the ball game. It's a six-point lead right now as uh, Clark dumps it underneath to Martin. Fadeaway shot left of the lane is off, and the rebound comes down to Watson. Ahead to Harrison. Harrison on the push. Finds Quinterly. Quinterly on the right wing. Standing dribble. Now Quinterly on the walk to the left. 3.20 left in the third. Hemingway gives it back to Quinterly on the right side. Harrison out front. It comes to Hemingway back to Harrison. Harrison with a fake out front. Hemingway left side. Quinterly fakes now unloads a three splash. It's a three point game. Nine in a row for West Virginia. Quinterly now sitting on 13 points. He's three of four from distance and it's 38, 35, nine in a row for the Mountaineers. Marshall finds Stalky in the corner and they gotten Stalky out of the lane. Stokey holds and looks. Now she attacks. Bounce the ball off her foot. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa with 249 left in the third. As soon as Martin closed out and didn't close out all the way, Quinterly let it go with confidence. Out front, Caitlin Clark with a straight on three. Nope. And an offensive foul again. That foul is charged to Stalky. Uh, excuse me, Stalky with a three-second violation. Four turnovers in the second half for Iowa. They lead by three and 245 left in the third as Harrison trots it up. A three ties the game. Quinterly has it off to the right. Quinterly on the drive into the lane. Dump pass underneath DeMore. She goes up. Bank no good. Stalky the rebound. That's 10 rebounds for her. They chop at Clark, and here comes Clark on the fly into the front court. And a foul called before Clark can get moving. That foul is charged to Watson, and that is two free throws for the Hawkeyes. So they have a chance to get some points on the board. And I'm being told it's Kia Watson. Caitlin Clark, 19 points, averaging almost 32 on the year, drops the free throw, give her 20, and give Iowa a four-point lead, 39-35, 229 left in the third. The second attempt on the way is good, and Clark is two for three from the line, and Iowa with a little bit of breathing room, up five and 228 left in the third. Harrison brings it up. Caitlin Clark, seven of 14 from the field with three assists in the ball game tonight. Here's Harrison on the move to the right. Harrison pitches out right corner, a three by Watson is good, and here they come again. Kia Watson with 10, two of five from distance, and it's a two-point lead, 40 to 38, and two minutes left in the third. Clark turns on the dribble. 
Clark still with the ball in her hands. Now chasing the double team. Back outside, stolen by Harrison. Two on one. Harrison on the drive and on a falter. Jump pass to Quinterly. She goes up. Missed it. A falter had the rebound. Ball on the floor. It's out of bounds. It'll belong to Iowa. Boy, you want to talk about a bullet being dodged. Forty to thirty-eight with a hundred seven seconds to go in the third quarter. One forty-seven for those of you scoring at home. Hawkeyes have the ball, and I will tell you something: they look gassed. West Virginia has put a ton of pressure on the Hawkeyes, and they've held them to forty points as we near the end of the third quarter. Here comes Martin on the move into the front court, gets across the timeline. That Paul that pass tipped away. Caitlin Clark gave it to gather it in. 18 on the shot clock. 134 left in the third. Caitlin Clark on the move. Caitlin Clark driving right. A step back three. Not that time. Rebound Martin. Back up. Yes, and a foul called. Four point lead with a free throw to come. 125 left in the third. This has been a good. No, this has been a fabulous game. It looked good when Clark let it go, but give Kate Martin credit for getting on the inside, which is where Iowa needs to win this game. They got to win it on the inside. Even though West Virginia has the size advantage, Iowa has the quickness advantage. Martin to the free throw line, looking to extend the lead back to five. With 125 left in the third, she shoots 86% from the free throw line this season. The free throw is good, and it's a five-point lead, 43-38. 125 left in the third as Harrison brings it up. Harrison across the timeline into the front court. Harrison on the move to the left. Harrison guarded by McKay, picks up her dribble, chasing a double team. A whip pass back to Watson on the left side. Hemingway's three, not that time. Ball on the floor, tip to Caitlin Clark. 105 left in the third. Hawkeye's ball up five. Clark on the push. That pass tipped out of bounds. She was looking for Stolke. Richard Carr says, let's go Hawkeyes. It's Iowa and South Carolina who they who most people believe can win the national championship, especially South Carolina, as they are undefeated coming in the next weekend. They dump it to Stokey against Moore. Stokey comes out of the lane looking for help, hands it to Clark. 54 seconds left in the third, 16 on the shot clock. Here's Clark on the drive into the lane. 10 footer, rimming good. Caitlin Clark got it plus the foul. She'll shoot for the three point play. Remember, this is Caitlin Clark's final game at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Fifteen thousand plus come to their feet. Caitlin Clark, twenty-three points. She's turned the ball over six times. She has three assists in the ball game, but she is leading this team. Clark gets ready, offers the free throw, rimming, good. That went all around the world three separate times, and it fell down, and Iowa has scored six in a row. They lead by eight and 45 seconds left in the third quarter, 24 for Caitlin Clark on the night. She has to get some help from somewhere other than Stolke. Here's Hemingway on the drive left of the lane. Pitch back out to Watson. Watson holds and looks. Dump pass low to Moore. Backs in on Martin. That pass tipped away. Off McKay. Clark with a steal. Clark on the fly into the front court. Stops. Stutter step move. Now comes back out on the dribble. 20 seconds left in the third, and Iowa can wear the clock down for one. 19 seconds left, third quarter. Clark looks to attack. 15, 14, counter down with this. 13, now 12, 11, and now 10. Quinterly sticks with Clark. Eight seconds, seven, six. Clark with a scissor dribble. Five seconds. Whip pass back to the left side for Martin. A three is blocked, and a foul with one second left in the third. And Kia Watson now has four fouls. And she knew it. Hall of Fame player has come into the chat tonight. Iowa got Clark locked in. Yeah, she's locked in. But so is Kate Martin, who had a huge putback basket earlier in this third quarter. Caitlin Clark will get a quick breather at the end of this third quarter. And I believe this is three free throws. Coming up for Kate Martin. It is indeed a three-point shot. Martin sitting on five points in the game. So the usual supporting cast 
not contributing much on the offensive end, but they have helped inside on the rebounds. Kate Martin is two for six. She's got six rebounds on the night. This is a three-shot foul. Martin's free throw, got it. First one's down, 47-38 in favor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. One second remaining in the third quarter. The second shot, bullseye, 48-38. Lead is 10. Iowa's biggest lead has been 12. Hawkeyes 11 of 12 from the free throw line. The third attempt on the way. Can't get the trifecta. Rebound to Moore, and that will close the third quarter. So an 8-0 run by the Iowa Hawkeyes closes the third period, and we're through three. Your score, the Iowa Hawkeyes 48, the West Virginia Mountaineers 38. We'll come back with the money period after this. Sports bettors, listen up. Your favorite sports book, BetUS.com, is back and in our 30th year of action. With live in-game betting, incredible odds with daily odds boosters, props and parlays, fast payouts, and exceptional one-to-one customer service, we got it all. And when you sign up today and use the code SNOWMAN, you will get a 125% deposit match on your deposit. Log on to BETUS.com or call 800 800- 792-3887. That's 800-79-BETUS. BetUS.com, where the game begins. sports fans looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride look no further than fanatics the number one destination for sports enthusiasts visit snowmanmultimediasports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players from jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles fanatics has it all don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Phew. This has been a fight and a half for the Iowa Hawkeyes. They lead by 10, 48-38, lowest point total after three periods. And I'm going to do some quick research here. As their lowest their lowest point total this year, if I'm looking at this right, is 65. Let me continue. To, let me continue to look. And that came in a loss to Kansas State which they don't have to see because Kansas State got eliminated. Yeah, their lowest point total this year, I beg your pardon, is 58. They're sitting at 48 right now. And Caitlin Clark leads all scores with 24 points. She had 13 in that third period. But once again, I will say it again, The Hawkeyes have got to get some help, but they're going to try to close this one out. And move on to Albany for the Sweet 16. Because Caitlin, even though Caitlin Clark leads with 24, Stokey has nine points and nine rebounds. A falter has eight. Gabby Marshall is scoreless. And Kate Martin has seven. Lisa Bluter has not gone deep into her bench as she usually does. All of Fame player says Hawkeye Nation. The Hawkeyes stand 10 minutes away from another trip to the Sweet 16. Darian Hopkins, the Darian Hopkins Sports Show is in the house with us. What's good, D-Hop? They're in the third quarter at Pauley Pavilion, and Creighton has stretched their lead to 10. 
44-34. And they are making a check at the scorer's table. I know Darian's live with his coverage of this ball game tonight, and I want to ask you all a favor. Go give him some love also. And it is Quinter, it is Quinterly that is being worked on for West Virginia. Quinterly has played the entire ball game. West Virginia, blue tops, blue bottoms. Mark Kellogg looking for an explanation as well as to who's doing what or who has what. And it looks like we are ready to begin the money period. Caitlin Clark leads all with 24 points. And if there was ever a time for Gabby Marshall to bang home a shot, it would be right now. She has been uh, scoreless. It's a falter that will bring it in at the timeline with the pressure coming from Quinterly. And that pass is tipped out of bounds. It will stay. It will stay with Iowa. 50, uh, 48-38. Forty-eight thirty-eight. Iowa's lowest point total this year is 58. The Bulls have come back to tie Washington. They're tied 82 apiece as they head into the fourth quarter. The money period tonight is brought to you by BetUS.com. They look to come in, and they come into Martin, and Martin will bring it across. Martin across the timeline, guarded by Hemingway, lost the ball, able to get it back, hands it to a falter. A falter on the move. Drops a bounce pass to Clark. Had it stripped. Taken away. West Virginia with a steal. Harrison on the move into the front court. Harrison on the drive left of the lane. Goes all the way to the baseline. Comes back out to the corner for Quinterly. Quinterly on the drive into the lane. Hops a pass back out to Fields. Fields drops it low for Moore. Taya Moore rocks her way into the lane. In on Stokey. Shoots it in and draws the foul. And Moore will get a free throw to try to complete the three-point play. That is a five-point swing in West Virginia's favor as Caitlin Clark's layup attempt was blocked clean by Fields. They got it to Moore in the low post, and she was able to back in on Stokey. 48-40. Tears a Moore to the free throw line. 9.32 remaining in the money period. 48-40. Moore's lefty free throw is no good, and the rebound taken down by Martin. 48-40, Iowa with the lead, and here comes Caitlin Clark on the fly. Clark in the front court, fakes, fakes, works it left, works it right of the lane, a bounce pass out front to Martin. Martin holds and looks. Now I lost my connection for a second. Hang on, everybody. And Iowa just turned the ball over. All right, we're all caught up. 9.08 remaining in the money period. 15 Iowa turnovers on the night. And West Virginia has converted them to 17 points. Nine minutes left. On the right side is Fields. Fields with a fake on Martin. Back out front to Hemingway. Hemingway on the drive left of the lane. Picks up her dribble. Finds Quinterly, who has gone the distance. Here comes Quinterly right down the lane. Her shot's blocked. And out of bounds. It'll stay with West Virginia with four on the shot clock. And 8.47 remaining in the ball game. If you want a defensive slobber knocker, you got one tonight. Hey, folks, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a cash app or PayPal donation. The IDs are on your screen. Any way you can help out will be so much appreciated. Four on the shot clock. Baseline left. Harrison looks to pull the trigger. In play, it comes to Watson. A three splash, and that's a big one. 48-43 as Watson... Now has 10 points. 48 43, eight and a half left in the money period. Caitlin Clark on the move to the right. Cut off right baseline. Now finds a falter. A falter on the drive, right side. Picks up her dribble, looking for help, looking for help. Drops a pass to Martin, seven to shoot. Finds Clark, five on the clock. Uh, Clark turns on the dribble on Harrison. Three, two, lean in, three, short. Rebound taken down by Harrison. West Virginia on the push, two on one. Harrison on the fly, all the way in. Lean in, flip. Oh, offensive foul. Wipe it out. 
Offensive foul on Harrison. And Mark Kellogg is not happy about that call. And Marshall got there in time, outside of the restricted circle. Now the Hawkeyes have it in the front court to Stokey. Stokey bangs into people and a foul called on Hemingway. Hemingway looking for an offensive foul, not going to get it. And look at Harrison. Harrison is trying to settle her team down. 8.02 left in the money period. Iowa 48, West Virginia 43. West Virginia with the only point so far here in the money period. Marshall has it off to the right. They have bottled her up well. Marshall with a wraparound dribble, and we get a whistle on Harrison. I beg your pardon. That's a foul on Jayla Hemingway. Hemingway also has four fouls. And that's two quick fouls in the last 30 seconds. Caitlin Clark to pull the trigger. Baseline right in play to Marshall. Out front it comes to a falter. Back to Clark. Clark guarded by Harrison. Here comes Clark. Spins on Harrison. Bounce pass Marshall. Three right corner. No! She remains scoreless. Ball on the floor. Watson able to pick it up. Trapped in double team. It's out of bounds. It will stay with West Virginia. They have the ball coming right to left. Man alive, the second half three-point shooting, West Virginia four of nine, Iowa two for eight, and both of those threes belong to Caitlin Clark. Fuhrbach back in for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and it is, I believe, a falter that will depart. Chance to make it a three-point game or two of the long one. Harrison across into the front court. Harrison angles left. Now finds Watson on the weave to Quinterly. Quinterly holds and looks. Quinterly backs up on the dribble, feeds it to Fields, a three from the right. Bank, no. Rebound taken down by Caitlin Clark. Six rebounds for Caitlin Clark on the night. A run ahead to Stokey. Stokey backs in, goes up, strip, foul call. She'll shoot two. So Stokey gets a pair of free throws to try to extend this lead. Kansas and USC will play for the final, one of the final spots in the Sweet 16. The winner of this game gets Colorado next Saturday. Stalky's free throw is no good. Gabby Marshall back in. She is scoreless on the evening. Stalky tries again. Missed them both. Rebound Fuhrbach trying to fight for it. Does. Back out to Marshall. A three. Nope, it's out of bounds. It's out of bounds. It will belong to West Virginia with 7-11 remaining in the money period. And West Virginia so far with the only points of the money period. Picked up 10 subscribers tonight. Thank you all for subscribing. Shout yourselves out. And I'll give you a shout out here on the channel before we close up shop tonight. Watson has it out front. On the left side is Fields. Fields picks up the dribble, finds Watson. Watson holds and looks back to Fields. A three from the left. Nope. And the rebound chased down by Caitlin Clark. Seven rebounds for Caitlin Clark to go with 24 points. Clark across into the front court, met by Harrison. A falter has it this time off to the left. A falter off the screen from Stokey, looking for Stokey. They get it to her low left. Stokey turns and faces to the right corner for Fuhrbach. 13 to shoot. Fuhrbach attacks right baseline. That pass is tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa with nine on the clock and 631 remaining in the money period. Iowa yet to score here in this fourth quarter. Hemingway back in for West Virginia. Hemingway is playing with four fouls. Iowa is five for 20 from three-point land, and I believe all five of those belong to Caitlin Clark. They have it in play to a falter. Out front, Caitlin Clark, seven to shoot. Here's Clark. A backup three is short. Ball on the floor, West Virginia, and Watson comes out with it. 6.20 for the money period. Now they run ahead to Hemingway. Hemingway on the drive into the lane and on Stalky. Fakes, bumps into Stalky. Pass batted out of bounds by Stalky. Iowa will keep, excuse me, West Virginia will keep it 6 12 remaining in the money period. The Hawkeyes have yet to score. They've been outscored 5 to nothing here in the fourth quarter. 
I was led by 12 on two occasions, 11 once, and then led by 10 at the end of three, but unable to put it away. That layup is missed. Ball on the floor. West Virginia comes out with it. A falter chops it away. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with West Virginia with 16 on the shot clock. And Caitlin Clark is bleeding. She's going to have to come out, and they're going to have to wrap her up. She's got 13 points in the second half. She is yet to scratch here in the fourth quarter. And they're going to work on her immediately. Yeah, she got scratched somewhere, and they're taping her up right now. And now she'll come back on the floor. Harrison will pull the trigger. Baseline, baseline left. Harrison looks to pull the trigger and come in. In the right corner, a three by Quinterly. Short. Rebound, Harrison. Back up. Good. It's a three-point game. Every time Iowa has gone ahead by double digits, West Virginia has had an answer. They've scored seven in a row. 7-0 run to begin the money period. A couple of subs coming for the Iowa Hawkeyes immediately. Out front is O'Grady. O'Grady holds and looks. Now comes out with a one-bounce dribble out to Caitlin Clark. A step back three. Nurming no. And the rebound taken down by Hemingway. Ahead it comes to Quinterly. Chance to tie with a long one. Quinterly has it off to the left. Quinterly holds and looks. Hands it to Watson. Now gives it to Harrison. Harrison out between the rings out near the timeline. Harrison a standing dribble. Over the top pass to Moore. Back to, uh, back to Hemingway's three. Splash! It's a one-point game. Or it's a tie game. I beg your pardon. It's a tie game. 48 all. First tie of the night. Iowa's 10-point lead has been wiped out. And timeout called by the Hawkeyes. Iowa led by 10 at the end of the third quarter. It's been all West Virginia in the money period. They have even this game at 48. Let's come back after this timeout. Attention sports fans, looking for the ultimate gear and apparel to show your team pride? Look no further than Fanatics, the number one destination for sports enthusiasts. Visit snowmanmultimediasports.com today and shop a wide selection of officially licensed merchandise from your favorite teams and players. From jerseys to hats to accessories to collectibles, Fanatics has it all. Don't miss out on the chance to elevate your game day experience. Head over to snowmanmultimediasports.com slash fanatics and gear up like a true fan with fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Ready to upgrade your coffee game? Prepare for an invasion of flavor with Invader Coffee. It's the caffeinated elixir that fuels champions, the blend that pushes boundaries. Whether you're battling deadlines or exploring uncharted territories, Invader Coffee has your back. Join the invasion at invadercoffee.com and taste the difference for yourself. Use the code SNOWMAN for 15% off your first order. Invader Coffee, veteran owned. As West Virginia has wiped out a 10-point deficit, so has UCLA. They are tied with Creighton at 50. And in this game, West Virginia has slowed down a 91-point per game team, and they have held Iowa to 48 points. They've scored West Virginia the first 10 points of this money period. 5.07 left in said money period, and we're tied at 48. Ryan Snow back here with you inside of the Snowman Broadcast Center. We hope that you 
are enjoying what you are seeing, what we're going to do on April 15th is cover the WNBA draft. And we will also have the championship game of this women's tournament. And that will come from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. 507 left. And I said throughout the game that Iowa's been in a dogfight, and it's been the turnovers that have cost the Hawkeyes. They've turned the ball over three points, three times here in this fourth quarter. West Virginia has scored 50, has, has forced, I beg your pardon, 15 turnovers, and that has led to 19 points, including a three from the corner that has tied the game. And the offensive rebounding in the fourth quarter has also helped the West Virginia Mountaineers. Iowa needs some points, and they need them bad. Tied at 48, 504 left in the money period. We saw this before against Nebraska and Lincoln and against Ohio State in Columbus. Stalky has it at the free throw line. Over the top pass to Caitlin Clark. Clark has it this time. Back to Stokey, right of the lane. Back outside, it comes to a falter. A falter charges down the lane. Missed the layup, and the foul called as a falter will shoot two. Richard Carr says, woozers. Yeah, that's what my wife would say a lot. We'll have the final four and the championship on April 5th and April 7th. Championship game, April 7th, that afternoon. We're also going to be covering the United Football League. Iowa to the free throw line. Hemingway, Quinterly, Blackstein, and, and Blackstein all with four fouls. Jordan Harrison with three. The free throw is good, and Iowa regains the lead with their first point of the fourth quarter. 49-48. Iowa leads by one. They've led by as many as 12. West Virginia has led by as many as six. The second free throw, good, and Iowa is up a pair. 50 to 48, 446 remaining in the money period. Now the Hawkeyes in search of a defensive stop. Harrison has it in the front court. Harrison goes over the top to Moore to the left side for Hemingway. Hemingway with a right hand dribble right down the lane. Pitch out to the corner for Quinterly. Quinterly with a fake, dumps inside to Moore, shoots it up and out. Ball on the floor. Still loose. Martin able to come up with it, looking for help. Looking for help. Finds Caitlin Clark. Hawkeyes ball up two. Caitlin Clark on the fly in the front court. Caitlin Clark on the move. Drives right of the lane. All the way to the hoop and lays it up. No good. Rebound. Stelke. That's swatted out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa with 4-11 remaining in the money period. Nothing falling for the Hawkeyes in the fourth quarter. Man, oh, man. 50-48. to 48, Iowa leads by two. Their lowest point total is 58. And they're flirting with that right now. Martin has it this time off to the right. Here's Martin to the free throw line. Fakes, leans in, forces a shot up. No good. Beat round, volleyballed out. It comes out to Quinterly and a loose ball foul against Iowa. So now another chance for West Virginia to tie or get the lead with a long one. And I got to hand it to J.J. Quinterly. She has gone the distance tonight, fought off what looked to be a knee injury, as she was limping for a bit. And now West Virginia has it moving right to left, looking for the tie. Harrison in the front court, off to the left. Harrison works off the screen from Watson. Harrison to the right corner. Hemingway's three, rimming no. Rebound more. Stripped out of bounds. It'll stay with West Virginia with 344 left. Fifty to forty-eight. Iowa has scored only two points in this fourth quarter. West Virginia has scored ten. Harrison to bring it in baseline right in play to Watson and a timeout call by West Virginia. Phew. This is one of those old Nelly kind of games. The late great Keith Jackson used to say old Nelly a lot. 50 to 48 in favor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. And again, I will mention this and continue to mention it. Gabby Marshall is scoreless. Between Martin and Marshall, they average 19 points a game in their wins. And 
only 14 in their losses. They have only seven points between them tonight, and all seven belong to uh, to uh, Kate Martin. Marshall is scoreless. Gabby Marshall is scoreless tonight. West Virginia will have possession. Richard Carr says, thanks for calling the game. You are welcome, my friend. Glad to do it. Clark has Clark is scoreless here in the fourth quarter, and it's not the first time she has been held scoreless in the fourth quarter. Remember the game at Nebraska and Lincoln? She had 31 at the end of three, was held scoreless at the end of was held scoreless. Here's more with a hook shot. Good. We're tied at 50. Iowa with the ball in a tie game as Tarza Moore has six points, three of six from the field, a falter across into the front court, guarded by Harrison. A falter finds Marshall. Marshall holds and looks. This is a 12-2 West Virginia run to start this fourth quarter. Caitlin Clark has it out front. Caitlin Clark on the attack, right of the lane, fakes, pitch out Marshall, left corner, out front, Martin back to Clark. Four to shoot. Clark right down the lane. Shoots it up. Nope. Foul call. She'll shoot two. Martin and Clark are your only. It's hard to score points when Martin and Clark are your only scorers. That's true. And I'll say it again. Gabby Marshall does not have a point tonight. Caitlin Clark to give Iowa the lead. She does with a free throw. She has 25 points. Only seven points between Marshall and Martin. The second attempt on the way is good. 26 points for Caitlin Clark. And that will bring us. Nope, it doesn't bring us to a timeout as Harrison comes across into the front court. Iowa 15 of 19 from the free throw line. And a foul called out front. Third foul on the Hawkeyes. And that foul is charged to Marshall. Three fouls against Gabby Marshall. And again, no points. Three fouls against Iowa. West Virginia has reached their limit. They haven't in play to Quinterly. Quinterly on the attack. Left baseline to the hoop. Lays it in. Tie game again. A lapse on defense for the Hawkeyes. And they've tied it at 52 two apiece. 249 for the money period. Here's Caitlin Clark on the move against Harrison. Drives in, shoots it up. No good. Rebound Watson. West Virginia has come to win. 52 all and 238 left. Harrison trots it up. They look for their first lead since the first quarter. Harrison goes over the top to Moore, left of the lane. A pitch out to Hemingway. Hemingway goes back out to Harrison. Harrison has it between the circles. On the right side is Quinterly. Quinterly back to Harrison. Eight to shoot. 220 for the game. Harrison directing traffic, five to shoot, works off the Moore screen, pitch out, Quinterly, a three from the left is blocked, cleared by a falter. Hawkeyes ball in a tie game, 208 left in regulation time. Here's a falter, spinning down the lane, lays it in, and draws the foul. And the Hawkeyes regain the lead with 203 left. Give Gabby Marshall the block that led to a falter attacking the lane and getting to the basket. 54-52 54-52 with a free throw to come. Sydney a falter sitting on a dozen with a free throw to come. Marshall set it up with the block and a falter just attacked. Wilson 2112, thank you for subscribing to the channel. A falter's free throw. Got it. Three point lead, 203 left. Remember, Iowa has led this game by as many as 12. Two minutes left in the money period, or should I say two minutes left in regulation time. West Virginia has a whole bunch of players in foul trouble. On the left side is Quinterly. Quinterly holds and looks. Out front, Harrison. Harrison holds and looks. Finds Hemingway on the right wing. Back to Harrison out front. Over the top pass into Watson. Pitch out left corner. Hemingway with a fake. A step back three. Nope. Rebound Caitlin Clark with 137 left. And Caitlin Clark will walk it up. 90 seconds left. A trip to the Sweet 16 hangs in the balance. Here's Caitlin Clark on the fly. Bounce pass to Stokey. Missed the layup. Stokey gets the rebound. Trying to pitch it back outside. And it stays with Iowa with 118 left. 
And again, I, I will say it again. The lowest point total for Iowa this year was 58. That came in a loss to Kansas State. And we have time on the floor. And the reason we have a timeout is because they're going to go to a review at the table. And they're going to take a look at it. And I can part, and in part, the game hangs in the balance. 118 left, Iowa 55, West Virginia 52. And that pat and that ball was off of Harrison out of bounds. Yep, Harrison was the last one to touch it from the from the angle that we're seeing. David says, I find uh I find myself watching women's basketball now. Ratings on the rise. Man, I've been a fan of women's basketball since 82, since their very first Final Four. Yeah, that should be Iowa ball. Pure adrenaline sports says, Snowman, sorry I'm late. That is okay, buddy, as long as you're here. And am I reading this right? The Atlanta Hawks erase a 30-point deficit to beat the Boston Celtics? Am I looking at that right? Yep, I am. The winner goes to Albany to face the Colorado Buffaloes. In the Sweet 16. Quinterly Harrison, along with Watson, will set your lineups for you in just a minute. Clark, Stolke, Marshall, Martin, and a falter. This has been the lineup for the Iowa Hawkeyes. This has been the lineup for the Iowa Hawkeyes since Molly Davis went down with an injury. O'Grady has not been used that much tonight. And it's Iowa ball as the ball went off of Harrison. Trust Truth says the number of fouls not called should be counted up. Might be a record. I'm inclined to agree. A falter will pull the trigger. Foul on extended right. A falter is handed the ball, and they look to come in. A bounce pass in play to Martin. 118 left. Got to have points here. A falter has it this time on the right wing. 110 left. A falter on the attack. Works off the Stalky screen. They get it to Stalky. She's fouled. She'll shoot two with 107 left. Now this is where Iowa can make their hay. And J.J. Quinterly got to give her a vote for player of the game. She played her heart out tonight. She fouls out with 15 points. I'm impressed by the West Virginia defense in this game. Agreed. Because they held a 90-point scoring team to 55 with 67 seconds left. So Stokey, who missed two free throws about four minutes ago, will head back to the line to try to extend this lead. One of them will make it a two-possession game. West Virginia has two timeouts. Iowa has three. Blackston is back on the floor for the Mountaineers. Stolke's free throw. Got it. Big one. 56-52. Hannah Stolke now has 10 points. She's got a double-double. 10 points and 10 rebounds. The second attempt on the way. No good. Long rebound. Chased down by Watson. 105 left. West Virginia in a hurry as Harrison trots it up. We're down to the final minute. Four-point Iowa lead, 56-52. to 52. Hemingway and Blackston and Watson, each with four. Watt, uh, excuse me, Harrison on the drive. Missed the layup. Stokey the rebound. Hands to Clark. 50 seconds left. It looks like Iowa's going to wrap it up. Clark with a wraparound dribble is fouled by Harrison, and I believe that's it for Harrison. Ryan McCarthy checking out the festivities. What's up, Mr. McCarthy? What a job by both of these teams. There's, there can't be a loser in a game like this because both of these teams have played fabulous defensively. So Caitlin Clark heads to the free throw line, 26 points, only two here in this fourth quarter. 
Eight points total in this fourth quarter. Clark's free throw. Got it. 57-52 with 45.2 left. And I am inclined to think that West Virginia will spend a timeout. 45.2 left. The second attempt, good for Caitlin Clark. She's got 28. 58-52, 40 seconds left. Harrison on the move in the front court. Harrison, a step back three. Nope. Rebound, Kate Martin, and that just may do it. And Hannah Stalky took a tumble. She hops up, and that's good to see. I found this channel by accident. Great call, Snowman. Thank you, Wilson. If you all like the call of this game and women's basketball, do me a favor. Hit the cat, uh, excuse, yeah, hit the cash app at dollar sign tall man, Dr. K 50 to show your support for this channel so we can continue to make it grow and have this be the home for coverage of women's sports live. I mean, Anna Stokey took a pop. And it's getting close to the witching hour for me. They're going to take a look at this one to see if this is a flagrant foul or not. It's getting close to the witching hour for me because I have to take my daughter to work here in about 10 minutes. There are 34 seconds left in this ball game. Iowa 58. They have matched their lowest point total of the year. Moore commits the foul. Iowa 58, West Virginia 52. Ryan says, see you in Albany, Lady Hawkeyes. It looks that way. It looks that way. Excuse me a minute, folks. I'm going to get my shoe out from under here. As they continue to look at the replay. Moore indeed does pick up the foul. And I think what they're determining if it, it is a flagrant foul or not. Uh, Wilson, to answer your question, no. I am in the eastern time zone. I am south of Indy. Hmm. Hold on, folks. Uh-oh, that's my alarm. That's my 10-minute warning alarm because I'm usually taking a nap at this time to get ready to drive my daughter to work. It's one of the things I can do, being disabled. I'm just glad I'm able to help out around the house and help my wife out in getting my daughter to and from. <laughs> tell your daughter keep the great effort working absolutely absolutely i told her this morning on the drive home that i'm super proud of her i tell that to all my kids i tell that to all my kids because i am proud of them i am proud of them ucla now owns a five-point lead over creighton 61 to 56 usc is up five over kansas early 12 to 7 they're in the first quarter they're in the fourth period at Pauley Pavilion. Hannah Stalky to the free throw line to try to put it away. The free throw. Got it. 11 points for Hannah Stalky. 59-52. It's a three-possession game. I tell my whole family, my wife included, I'm proud of them all. 60-52. to Iowa leads by eight. They led by as many as 12. Here's Harrison on the move in the front court. Stop three-point stripe on the drive right of the lane. Picks up the dribble. Bounce pass out front and a foul called. And that's the final foul to give for the Hawkeyes with 25.4 left. Hannah glad her arm wasn't broke. Yeah, because she took a, oh, she took a spill. She really did take a uh, take a spill in that game. And as soon as this wraps up, I got to go give my wife a kiss and my daughter a kiss and take my daughter to work. 25.4 left. Again, if you like what you hear, Moore gets the layup and timeout called by Iowa. They'll have two remaining. West Virginia will have two remaining with 23.5 seconds remaining in the ball game. I had someone ask me earlier tonight, how did I become disabled? Well, battle cancer and one. Right big toe, amputated, and I'm in a wheelchair right now. But someone gave me the advice to keep going with this. And I am. So anybody that can donate to the cause to um, 
have me start helping my family again, especially financially, that would be absolutely huge. And I mean every I, I mean every word of that. Because all the donations that come in go to help my family. 60 to 54. Uh, is your daughter watching the game? No. Uh, she works at night, so uh, she was sleeping, and I think she just woke up now. Watch the NCAA response to the ref's performance. Yeah, I agree with that. 23.5 left, 60 to 54. Iowa leads by six. They'll bring the ball in. Foul line extended left. Wilson, you're a survivor. So like, yeah, thank you, Wilson. I appreciate it. It all started with blood clots three years ago. A year in remission from cancer. Caitlin Clark fouled off to the left with 21.3 left. She's sitting on 28 points. And I believe Harrison has just fouled out. And she leaves with three points. So Mark Kellogg's wish that he spoke aloud to send Caitlin Clark home is not going to happen. Because, A, Clark is already home. And now she's shooting for points 29 and 30. 21.3 seconds remaining in the ball game. 60 to 54. Iowa leads. Clark's free throw. Got it. It's a three-possession game, and that should do it. 61-54. The second attempt on the way. Splash. 30 points for Caitlin Clark. She came in averaging 31. 31.8. West Virginia burns a timeout with 21.3 seconds left. Again, if you liked everything that you heard tonight and saw, because I'm trying to make this setup better, let me know your suggestions down below of how I can how I can uh, make this better. the Iowa Hawkeyes lead by eight. They've led by as many as 12. Mary Duncan says, four kids sleeping, and it's already hard to sleep quiet night now. Sheesh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I get it. I get it. I I absolutely get it. West Virginia to pull the trigger. Foul line extended right. As Fields looks to come in to Hemingway. Hemingway drives in on Clark. Pitch out left corner. Watson's three. Off the back iron. No good. Rebound chased down by Kate Martin into the hands of Caitlin Clark with 10 seconds left. They are not going to foul. And they do. I take that back. Moore does foul. And Caitlin Clark will go back to the free throw line for points 31 and 32 on the evening. Stolke has 12 points and 11 rebounds. A falter with 13. Again, Marshall went scoreless in the game. Kate Martin has seven. And if you would have told me that Gabby Marshall would have gone scoreless and Iowa would still find a way to potentially win by double digits, I'd have called you a liar. Because Gabby Marshall is huge for them. They're really going to need her production going into the Sweet 16. Clark to the free throw line, sitting on 30 points. 9 of 10 from the line tonight, and it's the free throws that have kept Iowa in front as the free throw rims good, and the Hawkeyes are up 9. 63-54, and the entire contingent in Iowa City, you can head to Albany, New York, as they will play Colorado in the Sweet 16. Hemingway on the push. A pitch out to Fields for 3. Nope. Rebound, Blackson. That basket does not count, and that's your game. David says crappy game, but still gets 32. Stars do that. Yep, stars do that, and Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes are headed back to the Sweet 16 as they continue their march toward Cleveland, Ohio in a wonderful game. Look at the respect for both. I'm looking at the respect for both of these teams in the in the handshake line. As Caitlin Clark is our Iowa player of the game. She finished with 32 points after a slow start. And I'm going to give JJ Quinterly the West Virginia player of the game as she fin- she fouled out with 13 points.
but Quinterly is one of the reasons they stayed in this ball game. And Iowa cannot turn the ball over 17 times if they expect to beat Colorado next Saturday night. And we'll have that game for you here on the YouTube channel. Look up SNWMN Multimedia or Snowman Multimedia 52. That's where you can find us. I got to get the heck out of here because I got to take my daughter to work. Your final one more time. West Virginia goes down to Iowa. It's Iowa 64, West Virginia 54, and Caitlin Clark's final home game at Carver Hawkeye Arena. And now they head to Albany, New York. What a ball game. 64 54 is your final. I want to thank everyone that tuned in tonight. I appreciate you. I love you very much. We're back on Saturday. No, take that back. We're back on Friday covering the regionals, and we got Iowa on Saturday. And someone had asked me, the reason I do this is right here. That's my beautiful wife, Jody. So if y'all can help a disabled broadcaster out with some contributions to um, the cash app, the tag you need is dollar sign tall man, Dr. K 50, because I want nothing more than to be able to help my family because they sure helped me when I was going through my fight with cancer and with blood clots and everything. And that's the least I can do to pay them back. Thank you once again, folks, for tuning in your final one more time. Iowa 64 and West Virginia 54 in a slobber knocker of a game. We'll see y'all next week for the Sweet 16. So long, everybody.